Hi folks, today's film review is a very interesting one. It's Terrence Malick's 2011 film, The Tree of Life. Uh, this is a very interesting movie, and it's very different from anything I've ever seen. Um, essentially, it's about a man growing up uh, in Texas in the 50s. Um, on par with the time, which is a very interesting upbringing, as in his mother was very loving, very kind, very open-minded, and his father was a very, you know, closed-minded, very tough, very uh, bound by rules kind of man. And it's about the conundrums of growing up, uh, and that's its plot in basic form is the story of a man growing up. But it is a very artistic film, and a very different film. This is an experimental art film, one that I found to be quite effective, but I know that given the nature of how subjective art is, um, this is not a film for everyone. This is a film for those who may be more inclined to art films. Uh, this. I would say this is Koya Nascati with a linear narrative. Um, it's very unusual and sort of combines this mundane story with a larger story of evolution. Uh, and it's something that is almost difficult to describe to another person. So this is definitely a film that I think will affect people in different ways. Um, some may like it, some may hate it. Um, so I would recommend seeing it, but only if you're the kind of person who is perhaps interested in art films or experimental art, because this is definitely not a conventional movie. It's probably one of the most original I've ever seen. The cinematography is absolutely stunningly beautiful. This is a rare film that we really don't see a lot of. This is very unusual, and I would recommend it for those who like art films, but perhaps for those who are looking for a more normal, average American film, this is definitely not that film. This is a very unusual, it's a story told in a very odd way. Uh, it's very beautifully done. And it just shows us the power of cinema to make us think outside the box. And I would recommend this for those who are interested in such films that are different, but probably not for everyone. And that's my review of Terrence Malick's The Tree of Life. Thanks. Bye-bye.